Welcome to this video! Today we're going to show you how to create a CI-CD pipeline in GitLab, where an HTML file is deployed to Amazon S3. These are steps used in DevOps, which is used to automate the software process. This is highly relevant for software teams to efficiently automate the process, where a code change in GitLab triggers a pipeline and sends the resulting code to the Amazon S3 bucket. First, we upload an HTML file to GitLab through SSH. Go to gitlab.com and create a blank project. Then we will close the repository and use Git to upload an HTML file with the name of your choice to our new repo. Next, we set up the CI-CD configuration. In GitLab, we create the YAML file. From the template types, we choose gitlab-ci.yml. This code is used for deploying all HTML files in the master branch of the repo to S3. The code consists of an image and a script. The image is a Docker image that fetches the latest version of the AWS command line interface. The script configures the time region that we will later use for the S3 bucket and copies the specified files into that bucket. The code can be found in the description of this video. Now it's time to create our S3 bucket. Go to aws.amazon.com, navigate to Amazon S3 and click Create Bucket. Give the bucket a unique name and pick the same region as you specified earlier in the configuration script. Next, navigate to the IAM dashboard. Go to Users and add a new user. Give the user a name and give it programmatic access. Go to Permissions and click on Attach Existing Policies Directly. Give it the Amazon S3 Full Access Permissions policy. Thereafter, copy the access key ID and the secret access key ID. You will need them in the next step, where we will set up variables for the S3 bucket in GitLab. Go back to GitLab and navigate to Settings CI/CD. Click on Variables. Here we will add three new variables. First, we add the AWS access key ID with the value that you copied in the previous step. Then, go ahead and add the AWS secret access key with its copied value. Finally, we add another variable called S3. Its value is the name of your S3 bucket. Now we will install a GitLab runner. Navigate to Settings CI/CD. There are available shared runners, but we will create a custom runner to improve the speed of our pipeline. Follow the instructions on the website to install the runner for your OS. Download the executable file, rename it to gitlabrunner.exe and put it in the root folder. The first time you create a runner, you must run gitlabrunner.exe install. Then run gitlabrunner.exe register. You will be asked to input some text. Copy the instance URL and the registration token from the GitLab website. Thereafter, you may enter description and tags. Then you must choose an executor, for instance shell. Reload the page and there's your runner. Finally, we will ensure that our pipeline works. When we created our runner or whenever we make changes to our application, the pipeline will trigger. If you go to CICD pipelines, you see the pipeline running. Great, it passed! You can see in the logs that the job has succeeded and that the HTML file is now uploaded to the S3 bucket. Thanks for watching!